Afternoon everyone. Um, I thought I'd do a video uh, during the day for once. Um, um, well, I've got the telescope out, uh, which is a Celestron 6SE automatic uh, go-to scope, which I've had for a number of years now. It's a favourite. It's it's brilliant. It's got a six-inch mirror. Uh, you kind of tap into the uh, control here uh, where you want um, what you want to see. The Andromeda Galaxy, different star clusters, uh, different constellations, different stars, different planets. You just put it in there and it automatically goes to the object. But today, obviously, you can see I am uh, shooting during the day. Uh, and that's because uh, the sun has quite a few sunspots on it today. And they're quite big. One of them is enormous. It could swallow the Earth uh, without even kind of touching the sides, you know, it's massive. Um, so I've had a quick look through the scope there because I've just gotten a brand new solar filter as well from Orion. It's not, yes it is, it's Orion um, filters, Orion scopes. Uh, and it looks pretty good, pretty well made, a nice metal uh, kind of ring to it and uh, good quality, it seems. So I've put that on the front of the telescope, I've centered it in the eyepiece, which you can see just to me left there. Um, the sunspots are looking fab. The sky's lovely and clear. Um, I'm going to take a couple of pictures on the camera. Uh, they'll not be long exposures, obviously. It'll be quite quick, uh, fast shutter speeds. Uh, no editing's needed, so I'm just shooting in JPEG. And uh, we'll have a look at those sunspots in a bit more detail. But uh, sunspots are huge areas on the sun of magnetism, extreme magnetism, uh, which break through the surface of the sun. Uh, by all means, I'm not a kind of specialist. I'm just kind of uh, going through what information I've I've learned uh, learned over the over the last few years. So if there is anything incorrect, obviously do feel free for to correct. Um, I'm certainly not a. Uh, I don't profess to know everything, but certainly the sunspots, pardon me, appear black in the sky uh, on the sun. They're not actually cold areas of the sun they are in fact incredibly bright if you were to take one of the sunspots off the sun and put it in the night sky it would be brighter than the full moon which kind of gives you a little bit of perspective but these sunspots today are gigantic uh, and it just shows that the sun is now starting its progression through solar cycle 25 um haven't exited or is currently in the death throes of solar cycle 24 uh, for those of you who don't know, a quick summary, uh, the sun is thought to go through cycles of 11 years or thereabouts where you go through peak of activity where there's lots of sunspots, lots of uh, solar eruptions, coronal mass ejections uh, on the sun and times where it's quieter and that's solar minimum where there's hardly any sunspots, more uh, coronal holes it would be argued. Um, but less activity overall and we've just started to come out the end of solar cycle 24 and into solar cycle 25 as of last December now there's sunspots coming about quite rapidly on the Sun uh, over the past couple of weeks and a couple of months certainly and these ones at the moment are popping off a lot of C-class solar flares uh, one last night I think was a C3 uh, or a C4 which by the Sun's kind of power is hardly anything but when we've been used to hardly anything for you know months and months and months if not years c-class flares are a little bit exciting uh, but hopefully they start to get a bit more interesting so i'll show you a couple of pictures of the sunspots from today and uh, you can have a quick look at them if you have any questions uh, leave a comment uh, i don't mind just get in touch if i've said anything that's incorrect in the video Feel free for the, uh, you know, correct us. I'm, I'm really not that bothered. We're all here for to learn. Um, but yeah, a couple of quick ones. The telescope, such a great purchase. Yes, it was a lot of money, but I'm glad I did make that purchase. Um, I've got it hanging out the bathroom window uh, just because it's a little bit breezy outside and I didn't want that affecting uh, the images that I was trying to get. The solar filter was around 90 quid from what I can remember. Again, a necessary purchase, necessary for when you're viewing the sun. 
it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it in any case, don't look at the sun with your naked eye. Uh, don't do a Donald Trump and just stare blindly at the sun, otherwise you will go blind. Uh, get a, a, proper, a proper filter, all right? This is the solar filter that I bought from Orion uh, Telescopes. Like I say, it was 90 odd quid, uh, but this is what goes on the front of the telescope. You can get different sizes. Um, you can see it's, quite, it's nice metal, uh, which is quite sturdy, and the solar filter itself. So if I hold this up to the sun, you can see how that, you know, you, you can't necessarily make out any great detail on the sun just with it like that, um, with the, the phone camera. Uh, but you can see blind, uh, sorry, blocks out a lot of the glare from the sun. So this goes on the front of the telescope. Try not to drop it, because if I do, that's bad news. All right, so that's it on the front of the telescope and um, this is your, your normal eyepiece on the telescope so what I normally do is I take this off and I replace it with um, the T adapter on the camera here now this T adapter wasn't very much money I think it was about 10 12 quid something like that and that just screws on the front of um, the Fuji body what I've got Obviously you'd need a different one for just if you use a Canon or an Nikon or something like that but yeah it just kind of makes it so you can um, put it into the telescope like that. Your camera adapts to the back so you screw that in like so and you just take whatever images you want. This is also another bit of kit that I've got. It's the Orion Planetary Imaging Camera. It's a bit like a webcam kind of setup. Um, it's a quite, quite a simple body, um, I think this was less than 100 quid. Um, it links to the USB cable, uh, USB port on your computer, the software you get f uh, with it on a CD, um, you don't get it electronically, um, which I had to get a CD drive off my friend for to download the software, uh, but that was quite simple and straightforward, the software itself is straightforward, but that links up to your, to your laptop or your desktop or whatever it goes into the back of your camera uh, sorry your telescope in the port where the camera is and you focus it just through that and the image directly uh, goes directly onto your computer uh, which I'm going to do um, for the Sun so I can get a nice kind of full frame image um, I've taken some with the camera on the back of the telescope but um, I want some with the uh, planetary imaging camera as well it's quite a good buy. Okay, I've got the uh, planetary imaging camera set up on the, the laptop and it is focused now directly over the two larger sunspot groups on the uh, Earth, uh, obviously facing part of the sun. Um, those sunspots are just rotating into view. Two seconds while I just adjust it. There we go, so there's the smaller of the group on the right hand side where the cursor is, just here. And the larger group, which easily much bigger than the Earth, just there on the left. Uh, shows quite nicely actually on this imaging camera. There's a lot of atmospheric disturbance, uh, which I can see on the screen. It actually comes up better when I'm videoing it like this. Uh, but I'm going to run a, a series of image captures for these to see if it comes out any good. But just to give you some bigger kind of perspective, uh, given the images that I've just shown you. Whoops, lost them. There they are. There's one and there's the other. Uh, so yeah, it'll give you a perspective of um, what they're like. I mean, there's the edge of the sun coming into focus there on the left hand side. They're enormous. You can see the areas of magnetism around them as well. Fantastic. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Subscribe, hit the like button or dislike button, whatever takes your fancy, and uh, I'll catch up with you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.